Hi! So far we have been talking about the World Wide Web and we have come to the conclusion that okay, we are able to build or model and we are able to model the World Wide Web with the help of a directed graph. Okay, we have posed the question that how are we able to get this directed graph with the help of a web crawler? We are able to crawl the web with breadth-first search and get the topology of the World Wide Web. Okay. And in this lecture, we are going to talk about the concrete formula, the concrete equation behind PageRank. So the original PageRank formula with summation is something like this. The PageRank of a given website is equals to, okay, let's forget about this damping factor. We have to use this damping factor. We are going to talk a lot more about it. But what's very important is the second part of the equation, that basically the page rank of a given website depends on the page rank of other websites pointing to that given one. So PRA is the page rank of website A. It is kind of a recursive formula because the page rank of A depends on the page rank of other websites. Okay, the PRT sub I is the page rank of pages T sub I which link to page A. So we just have to consider the websites that are pointing to the page A. Okay. And this C parameter is the number of outbounds link on a given T sub I page. So that's why we have to calculate the page rank of a given site that's pointing to the website A and we have to divide it by the number of outgoing links. Okay, then we have to take a look at the second web page pointing to website A and we have to divide it by the number of outgoing links then the next website and so on. So this is why it is summation, because we have to consider every single website that's pointing to website A. And D is the damping factor in the range 0 and 1. We are going to talk about the problems concerning this given formula. And if we want to find a solution, we have to use this damping factor. Okay. So what's very important that we have to initialize the page ranks because at the beginning we don't know the page ranks of the given websites. So we have to initialize page ranks at the beginning. All pages are given equal page rank 1 divided by n where n is the number of pages. That's why we have to make several iterations until convergence because at the beginning of course every single website has the same page rank. Okay, so we end up with an iterative formula like this because we have to make several iterations. And as you can see, it's very similar to this one. We just have to make a summation. We have to consider the page rank of a given website and we have to divide it by the number of outgoing links and we have to sum up because P sub J are the websites that are pointing to the P sub I website. So in this case, for example, if we want to calculate the page rank of the page 2, we have to consider every single page that are pointing to page 2. Page 1 is pointing to page 2. Page 4 is pointing to page 2. Page 3 is pointing to page 3. So we just have to get the page rank of page 1 and divide by the number of outgoing links. The number of outgoing links is equals to 1. Okay, so the page rank of page 1 divided by 1 plus the page rank of page 4 divided by the number of outgoing links. It is 1 again. So we have to consider the last page pointing to page 2 and we have to calculate the number of outgoing links. In this case it is 2. As you can see page 3 is pointing to page 2 as well as it is pointing to page 4. So the page rank of page 2 is the page rank of page 1 divided by 1 plus the page rank of page 4 divided by 1 plus the page rank of page 3 divided by 2. It's going to be the page rank of 2. We just have to do the same for the page 3. We have to calculate that how many websites are pointing to page 3. Okay, we have to do the same to every single website on the World Wide Web. Thanks for watching.